Hey everyone, how is the Tower of Champions going? We've got five new floors this time and we are going to start off with 36 and this one is a doozy. Um, as you can see it is it uses the uh, lava gimmick sorry magma gimmick and so that means if you do not have the cooling potion you will take uh, 2,000 damage per character which means you'll take 8,000 damage um, and that's actually kind of a big deal so uh, you're gonna want to take down that fairy that was in the middle and it will spawn a potion somewhere on the side of the map and basically get that and you'll have protection for I believe two turns and oh yeah one more thing there's no hearts in this level at all so um, gonna have to make sure you are able to heal up with the healing walls and those are put up by those galaxium balls that I'm pummeling right now um, they are put up whenever they're in counter mode so you actually want to keep those galaxium balls alive as much as possible now for stage two um the bahamut on the right is actually going to be your your big target because he will revive people including that other bahamut on the left so if you don't get rid of him you can be in trouble so basically you want to make sure to well, that was a lucky, uh, lucky use of the warp. No, planned use of the warp. <laughs> um, but you're gonna want to make sure you hit the uh, Galaxian balls so that they put up the damage walls, and you can heal yourself appropriately as needed. Now, when you have downtime like this, you should take advantage and make sure you're at max health. But keep in mind that every turn you spend uh, is a turn that you will use up for your uh, cooling potion. And oh, randomly they will show up on the side as well. So uh, even if you don't kill the fairy, there is a chance it could spawn, but I wouldn't rely on that to uh, help you out. And of course, even if you clear the stage, you will take that damage. All right, stage three, um, as you can see, the fairy's in the bottom corner. So uh, it might be a slightly difficult to get to uh, and take out. So make sure you keep that in mind. However, the uh, the Izanami and the two homing absorbers will be rotating every turn in a counterclockwise uh, motion. So, um, actually, it is pinchable in between that homing absorber and Izanami. So, if you want to do some good damage, uh, you can try to get in there and do it that way. Now, um, and of course, the Galactian balls are in the opposite corners. So, you gonna want to hit them so that you get um, that healing wall. Now I also brought, made sure to bring along Anubis just because uh, uh, having somebody else who can also contribute to giving the party more health is certainly a good thing. It's definitely not a bad one. But <coughs> um, but yeah, I'm just gonna have to keep, keep trucking through. Uh, yikes, that was close. And again, I would not uh, be uh, stingy with the strike shots. This is a pretty long stage, so uh, if you need to use it, by all means, take advantage of it. And also, that is one of the benefits for these uh, uh, half healing walls. As long as you go out of it, once you come back in, you'll get that. Healing. Of course, Susano, not the fastest. Well, actually, it's pretty up there, I think. But that's pretty good uh, healing. And I, I mean, I know I said it before, there are no hearts in this stage, so you're gonna wanna make sure to keep your eye on your health the whole time and make sure you make the right decision. My party, I believe, doesn't have a single uh, no warp on it. So uh, you're going to want to make sure you can take the warps to your advantage as much as possible. Uh, oh, interesting. I didn't go through that warp the first time, but all good. And hopefully I'll pick up that potion before I clear. Yeah. There you go. 
All right, so let's move on to the next stage. Again, the Bahamut is there. And one thing to warn you is that it is pinchable in between the fairy and the Galactian ball on the bottom left. But that's something you do not want to do. Why? Because if you pinch that Galactian ball, those never come back. And remember, they're your only source of healing in this stage. And on top of that, the places where they're, the healing walls are, they're actually kind of in a tough to get situation. Um, as you can see, one way is blocked by the board. And for at least the bottom left, Izanami's in the way. And oh, there you go, the pinch. So that means I'm going to lose that healing wall on the top right in a few turns. So take advantage while you can. And basically you want to constantly do damage because Izanami will also revive the minions but not the Galaxian ball. Uh, reviving the, the fairy dude is good because uh, getting the potion is good. And hmm, I wonder if that, that was necessary but... You know, the HQ is getting low and the Bahamut came back, so I probably just uh, wanted to make sure. And as you can see, uh, Bahamut does have that uh, Poison Mist attack, and uh, if you bring the same character in and they get hit by that, then every character will get damaged. So, uh, I still brought two Susanos because I feel like the power is worth it, but maybe bringing three isn't the best idea just because of that attack. Alright, so we're in the boss stage and as you can see there are still four bars we have to worry about, which is a pain in the butt. <laughs> and again, we have three Galaxian balls here and I believe the one on the far left will actually put the healing wall on the entire right side of the wall. And so you're going to want to make sure to keep him alive, especially since he is once again in a pinchable state with that fairy. Um, you do not want to take him out. And that, don't be fooled by the homing attack. I feel like I've died from that many times. Not thinking it would do too much, but um, if you don't have the potion and just take all that homing damage, it, it can add up. But yeah, hopefully some good healing will happen, yes. And Here's another warning, the Galactian Balls do go away with Izanami, so if you actually kill Izanami too quickly without dealing with the minions, uh, that could also hurt you slightly, so uh, yeah, there's just a lot you have to worry about. Just making sure you keep an eye on your health and then choose whether you need to heal, whether you need to take some minions down. Alright, now so this stage there is a pinchable spot where my Susano got into. Um, if you hit it right, you can easily skip this stage in one go. Um, I was probably a little bit too generous with the angle there, so I probably missed out, but luckily uh, that was done with. But like I said earlier, if you finish too early, um, the Galaxian balls go away, and if those balls go away, your healing source goes away. So. I'm going to want to make sure to kill these Bahamut ASAP because uh, no healing plus uh, they're the Bahamuts. They, they kind of suck. And I don't have the potion so I'm going to just slowly take more and more damage. Oof. Alright, got one potion and luckily, luckily Susana was close enough to do that one way laser not one way lock on laser all right stage three of the boss as you can see we got two bahamuts on the top right you don't want to try and get rid of them as soon as you can because the less sources of damage there are the better not like that's in the concept <clears throat> all right so all right you can use a strike shot sure Nope. Got a nice critical hit there. That's pretty good. Again, making sure you uh, uh, mitigate as much damage as possible is super important. 
definitely gonna go into that world and hoping to come out top for the heels, but that didn't happen. And even went out the completely wrong direction the next time. So this is, you should start to get worried here. There's no more healing walls and uh, both Bahamuts were alive. Uh, luckily, Susano got, got in there nicely for the kill. All right, final stage. Now, as you can see, there's plenty of uh, Galaxian balls there for you. You can opt to pinch, I believe, in between to do major damage, but do keep in mind if you do the pinch, you lose your healing source. And Izanami does have a lot of health for this last stage, so um, you're going to want to make sure you constantly do damage because that counter on the bottom right is, is an insta-death count. I believe she just flings meteors everywhere and you can just see you die if that happens. Uh, oh, that's great healing. But unfortunately, we have no potion. Oh, looks like that's changing. Verdandi's great here just because of her crazy bump combo, which is just super awesome. Um, Anubis, what are you gonna do? Alright, just a standard attack, it looks like. Uh, but yeah, you just wanna constantly do some major damage to Izanami. Now that the warps shouldn't be an issue right now. And alright, we got the final music. Uh, well, it looks like I was trying to get some extra damage between the, uh, the blocks. And do remember, as you can see, the Galaxian Balls do have uh, laser berries around them. So hitting that left Susanna would have done it nothing either so uh, not too bad look at that that's almost 1.2 million damage and you saw how little that gauge went down so you can imagine how much health she has now uh, I'm assuming I thought I strike shot but it didn't actually go off because I don't see why I would hold off all right we got a sliver of health left this should be good enough. And it is. But yeah, there you go. 36th floor. Um, this could take a while. This certainly wasn't my first try. Uh, actually, my first try I got pretty close, which is ridiculous. But, um, but yeah. It's a interesting, difficult stage. Um, Actually, let me throw up some of my uh, deaths. So as you can see, you get pretty close, but unfortunately, I got trapped and the homings finished me off. That was pretty tough. And again, just the attacks that Izanami has or the lasers from the Bahamuts. Or if you take too long with these Anami, the meteor attack. Yeah, there's a lot of ways to die, but uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's it for this one. Um, the next floor should be ready soon, so have fun with that one. Twenty, no, thirty-seven was a doozy. So, all right, until next time, bye bye.